Yeah. Here is the reference photo from Pixabay. Yeah, so beautiful color, right? This is a lavender field. So this uh, this butterfly in. I want to move this butterfly here to there. Do you remember about the golden section? We already learned chapter 2-1. Divide the squares in a row 3 by 3. 3 by 3. If you draw some object into a third point, it will be the most stable composition. So therefore, I will move butterfly here and add two more small butterfly. I think here and two more, the small size put on here. Okay, move on to next step. Sketch in the watercolor paper with 2H pencil. Very simple sketch, that's enough. Sketching butterfly on the third point, follow with the golden section. One, two. Next, apply uh, masking fluid on the butterfly. Use a lot of uh, masking fluid. I'm using old use, used brush and uh, chapstick. For the thin lines, I already uh, applied the water with a big washi brush and then uh, mix ultramarine deep and white apply on the sky area sky area and foreground area I'm using big washi brush now. This brush is convenient when you paint a bigger size than the paper we use. So that's why I'm just showing you. This color is magenta mix Ofra. Apply on the sky area and around the um, flowers area. Ofra mix magenta. Put on the flower area and around the butterfly area, here and there, just touching the paper. And then tilt the paper back and forth. I want to clean up the outline of water. I put the tape on it already. So if I don't wash the color, there's a strong outline left after drying. So bright violet, magenta mix, adding on the background area and foreground too.
Bright Violet Mix Ultramarine Deep Touching on the flower area and foreground area This is uh, paper is still very much wet, so adding some colors, they will spread they each other. So colors will be very soft and uh, yeah, bright colors. Change the brush. Uh, Ultramarine mix, uh, bright violet. Okay, we are start to draw flowers uh, with four uh, number four density. Brush stroke uh, down to up, up to down. Clean the brush and just uh, pick up the yellow color and touch the paper around the um, yeah, butterfly area and some area. It just uh, I want to find a different color on the background. Just uh, touching the yellow color and yeah, purple, pinkish color. Now I'm mixing white and ultramarine deep. Draw some flowers far in the distance and foreground area with a light blue. Magenta Mix Ultramarine Deep Draw flowers here and there And around the butterfly This dark color will make a pop out butterfly. I'd like to paint the butterfly with light yellow and light blue. Move the your brush gently and quickly. This paper is still wet, so we can use the spreader technique. So, some uh, magenta uh, color into the bright violet. So, uh, use the synthetic brush on the foreground area with magenta mix uh, bright violet. And then uh, bright violet mix ultramarine deep and spread her on the uh, foreground. 
and we are going to dropping the water on the foreground I don't know how many drops left here after dry but I do like to use variety techniques Bright Violet Mix Ultramarine Deep I draw the flowers number 5 density Wiggle the brush and some uh, draw the dots Wiggled brush and uh, leave the some dot. Wiggle, touch the paper with small dot. Wiggle, touch the paper. We are gonna try another color for la lavender. Opera mix magenta. Same technique, different, little bit different color. Push the paper, just um, touching the paper and wiggling the lines and touch. Yeah. Touch the paper and dot, draw the dot, use the tip of the brush. This we use the wet don't dry technique. Just to, uh, touch the paper lightly and uh, around that line, draw the, some dots. This is a stem, flower stem. Throw the stems. Next, we will use uh, scratchy with a wooden chopstick. Also, we can use pattern knife or nail. We will finish this painting in next class. Okay, we are all done. See you next time.